Do you know what having Bon Vita does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having one glass of Bon Vita with milk. This has 25 grams Bon Vita powder, 300 ml toned milk, and I haven't added any sugar to this. This should be around 325 calories. Let's see what happens. The ingredients aren't the best, but it does taste good. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 31 mg increase. I thought it'll be higher than this. Because if you see the ingredients, they're truly special. It has sugar in it, which is to be expected, and sugar has a glycemic index of 65. Fine. It also has liquid glucose in it, which has a glycemic index of 100. Not 99, 100. And finally, it's got a special ingredient called maltodextrin in it. And maltodextrin is a highly processed carb which has a glycemic index of 110, more than even liquid glucose. My glucose levels didn't go higher, probably because of the fats in the milk rather than anything special in the Bon Vita. This glucose spike was actually quite unnecessary because it didn't give me any nutrition and it didn't fill me up. If I wanted a sweet breakfast, I'd rather choose sweet dahlia, which had increased my blood sugar levels by 29 mg, slightly lower than this also. And among savory breakfast items, there are so many options available. With one of the best options being Moong Dal Ka Chila, which had increased my blood sugar levels by only 12 mg. Much lesser than this and much more nutritious. 